It was good, everybody. Now, this is going to build up from a lot of what I said back in Sunday. And in actuality, I have mentioned how I predicted higher conglomerates for anarchist schools of thought. Specifically because of anarcho-monarchism. Then I thought, because there's also anarcho-democracy and anarcho-republicanism, what can't be anarchy? Before I get to that, usually critiques against anarcho-democracy from anarcho-monarchists state that it gives no incentive because there's a leader who's basically renting land in this territory system. And to me, that's closer to an anarcho-republic, as an anarcho-republic would be something like a party that's sort of renting out land that's... Owned in a very strange sense. If an anarcho democracy just being intense territorial conglomerates of collectivism. And that's kind of what would be the fashion for there. But another thing that I mentioned was that the only things that I wouldn't envision as being anarchists or incompatible with a non-hierarchical system would have to be or authoritarian system anarcho-fascism and anarcho-statism those two just can't come to terms neither would anarcho-churchism but now I'm just throwing a bunch of different ideologies each strictly hierarchical but no one really adheres to it no one calls themselves an anarcho fascist or statist except for maybe Noam Chomsky and there's some I hate to admit it anarchists that do favor corporatism but you can't call them legitimate anarchists because their school of thought has to have a state. Or these churchy little cult anarchists. These official cult anarchists. Yeah, those kinds don't apply. And in other news and other stuff that I might be able to speak about, it seems that I'm feeling well because of yesterday's broadcast, I'm well aware that one of my good friends, Supreme Maggot, was there. You didn't want to miss that broadcast. I did some funny shit, but I just can't wait until more people go to my blog TV broadcast. Because when I'm on blog TV, I usually do them um, strictly every Thursday at 6.15, 6.45 p.m. But... I might throw some in between, so you gotta watch out for that shit. Now, when I get enough anarchists to get her, I wanna speak more about anarchist esque things or get into higher discussions, because this is really just for me to develop a click with you guys. Now, that's nothing to do with me wanting subscribers or followers on Blog TV. That's what I have JTV for, that's my entertainment means for broadcasting. It's the, it has the more miscellaneous stuff that's supposed to lure in people who I'm not just trying to make ordinary friends with or use as a means for these political videos. So that's all I have to say. It's not really much. It's me just going back to a lot of what I said before and that much more. Now, I could try to throw in some complicated shit, but that would be me getting ahead of myself. And a lot of the theory that I put out there is basically just from the popular trends of anarchism. I'm basically looking back a little bit forward, doing my research on stateless societies, places about bodies of government, and all this sort of shit. 
This is Leon Red, Mr. Walker 7, or however the hell they like to address me as. I'm, I'm not going to say the tagline in the end. That usually annoys people. Outside of the camera, behind the camera. Should I say it?